All right. So this month of June, we are indeed focusing on divine wisdom. And today we're going to be thinking about the mind of Christ. And who can know the mind of God? Well, you know the answer to that, right? Who can know the mind of God? You can. Yeah, I can. We all can. We'll get to that. All right. Anyway, so we're going to align ourselves with this truth statement. And we know we make those statements. Not to try to make them true, but why? Because they are true. All right. So let's align with it. And you can use whatever hand motions you want or not. It's up to you, but it's good to get your body moving and get your energy system into what you're affirming with your mouth and your mind. So let's affirm this together. I live in the light of God's wisdom. All right, let's align with it again. I live in the light of God's wisdom. And one more time. I live in the light of God's wisdom. All right, I believe you. That was said with energy and conviction. So I want you to imagine this. This was a cartoon. Imagine that there's these two snails, you know, with their curved, beautiful shells, and they're having a conversation. And over just to the side of them, there is, you know, one of those, uh, I guess people still use them. I don't know, those uh, desktop um, tape dispensers. You know what I'm talking about? They're heavy, and they, they're kind of curvy and shiny, and sort of they look like a snail a little bit. Anyway, so one snail turns to the other and says, I don't care if she's just a tape dispenser. I love her. <laughs> okay. So take it into prayer. Take it into your consciousness of God's love and see if something different can come through you. See if you can perhaps make some new choices. Well, I had never thought of that, that perhaps I could make new choices. It's not about us blaming ourselves for what happens in our lives. That's so fruitless. Blaming yourself or blaming somebody else is all the same thing. What matters and what this message is about, what Jesus' message is about, what our unity message is about, is in any given moment I can make a new choice. I have the power within me to do something different. I have the power within me, the mind of Christ, to open myself up to come forward in a new way, from a new understanding, with new wisdom. Begin to affirm in yourself the mind of Christ. What's beautiful? What's good? What's loving? What's kind? What's expansive? So often we get so closed in, right? What's expansive? I'm willing to open my mind up to new beauty, to new ideas, to new possibilities. And as we just gently, every day, take some time, maybe whenever we think of it, make sure we're having our daily prayer and meditation, our daily visit with God, make sure we're reading some inspirational literature, make sure we're making contacts with people here or wherever your groups are where you feel supported. And make sure that you're getting that support. And just like that family that's nurturing that plant, as you focus on the beauty, as you focus from the mind of Christ, as you let yourself be loved and supported, and you let that love in, and you give that love out as you're nurturing, you know what happens, right? You don't think anymore that you're just a tape dispenser. What you know is, God loves me. God loves me. And God loves everybody in this beautiful world. And we are okay because we have the mind of Christ.